Hey Jesse. Tell me. What is your name? You should already know that because you called me just now. Welcome to Developers Hub. We often bring you the topics from world of development and technology. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. and also check out our website links are in the description the piece of software which i am going to show you in this video is a self made voice assistant it is completely built using python i call her jessy she can actually answer a few of my questions do google search for me and bring the description of the first search result and also act as a music player i'm still working on this software to make it better Let me show you what she can do as of now and then I'll explain how I did it. So I have connected this headset which you can see to my computer. So the default recording device is my headset and the output device that is the speaker is still the computer itself. So the Python program is already running. So Jessie can hear me from this headset and she can answer through the speakers of the computer so let's start hey jessy tell me what is our channel name your channel name is developers hub hey jessy tell me tell me about yourself i am a voice assistant designed by developers hub hey jessy tell me search for youtube enjoy the videos and music you love upload original content and share it all with friends family and the world on youtube Hey Jesse tell me search for India India officially the republic of india hindi bhat gargia is a country in south asia it is the second most populous country the seventh largest country by hey jesse play music hey jesse next music broken the long i feel the rain crashing down hey jesse previous music hey jesse stop music So talking about how this is done using python uh, the code is written in a single python file so as of now whatever the functionalities which i have achieved i have used four python modules which you can install using pip commands so the detailed description line by line description of how to install and how to uh, write code for this software is given in our website please check our website So briefly I will explain here so I have used four modules first one is python vlc module the second one is speech recognition module this module which you can see if uh, google this is a uh, api which i got in github this is a very cool api you doesn't need any uh, api key to use this you can just uh, use pip commands to install this whole uh, whole project I will give the link link in the description go and check the code there uh, it's very useful for different types of operations uh, using google and the th and the fourth one is uh, this module which is used to convert text into speech so moving on i have defined a dictionary here where um, there are four uh, key value pairs so um you can figure out looking at this the first one is name second one is channel name so accordingly i will use this as an answer to the question given so moving on here what i have done is using our speech recognition mod module i have um initialized the recognizer so i wanted two recognizer why uh, why i want to i will tell you in a minute then i have defined a method for google search so it will take one 
input which is the term it has to search and then using the API which I set uh, which I got from github so it consists of a method search which will take the search term and the number of pages you want to search and it will give you back the list of descriptions of each result so out of that I am returning the first item of the list with its description moving on I have defined one more method speak text it takes one command one input it's a string so it will use this module which I said which is which helps to convert text into uh, text into uh, speech uh, here it is initializing that module and then it is using the same method of that module to uh, pass the uh, input whatever it got and then it will run that command I mean run the function and uh, until it finishes the speech it will wait for it and then it uh, terminates moving on <coughs> the this method is a very important method which I have defined this is a solution finder method which also takes one input that is a uh, string uh, for which we have to find an answer so initially the answer is nothing then if the incoming text consists of music then I will enter this part and if it doesn't consist of uh, music I will enter this loop so in the first loop if it consists of music and then again it consists of play music then I will use s dot play song uh, method and if it is next music next song method again previous song and then stop song method what is s here s is a object of this class which I will define later this is a song operation class so s is the object of that class so I will I will tell you about that class in a minute so if it is if the incoming text if the incoming string or to the solution finder doesn't consist of uh, music it will go here and checks if it consists of your name if it is there then from the dictionary which I said it will pick the name value uh, if it is channel name the channel name yourself it will read the yourself key and give the value and uh, accordingly for the message it will take the message key and give its value and one more thing is if it consists of search for that means we have to go to Google and search right it will take that string and split it uh, with the word for so the whatever the word whatever the sentence is there um, next to the for word that is like search for coffee search for Google search for YouTube so for YouTube for will be split so the YouTube or whatever there after the for term is taken into the search term variable and then that search term is passed to the Google search method which I have I just showed you uh, which will again uses the Google API and then bring brings back the result so whatever the result I I will get from that method I will store it in the answer and then finally whatever the answer is that I will use the speak text method which will convert my text into speech and it will say whatever is there in, as a, in the answer so here I'm passing search term minus one because it's the last uh, item in the list so after the for whatever is there it's the last item so I'm passing that so here comes the song operation which I've uh, just shown you in the play music section uh, you know music section what is that so the song operation class consists of four methods play song stop song next song and previous song which you just saw I will call these methods according to the uh, term in the incoming text so the first method is play song so what it does is it uses the VLC module and um, it creates a media list uh, initially which consists of two songs right now and then it initializes the media list player instance and then it sets media list and then it calls the play method from which the song is played again stop song has stop method 
next method and previous method accordingly uh, which defines its operation so then what I do is I create the S object which I just shown you uh, which creates the object of song operation class so the whole thing works in this while loop it will always be in the loop like it will always listen to you in the try block SR is a speak recognizer module with that I have initialized microphone as source 2 so the microphone uh, will take index again so if you want to set uh, other uh, source of uh, mic right so if it is none if it is no, if nothing is set here it means the default recording device of your computer will be initialized and that is initialized and put in the source to variable so after that what I'll do is r dot adjust this r is the recognizer which I initialized uh, in the beginning here I have initialized two recognizer I'll, sh I'll tell you why so with that R I am calling this adjust for ambient noise uh, this uh, you have to do because uh, there will be noise uh, in the surrounding so it will reduce the noise and the duration is 0.2 and then I have printed call me Jesse uh, it will print in the terminal and then I have initialized the audio to variable with r dot listen method and it starts listening to the source 2 source 2 is our microphone and phrase limit I have set to 4 seconds this means if you don't talk after saying a word uh, for 4 seconds it will uh, end it will not listen it will stop listening to you so that's what it is and when this I mean the uh, operation uh, when the execution comes here the audio 2 is initialized with whatever you speak and then I have initialized my text variable and in the my text variable I will I will use recognize Google method this means the recognizer is using Google as its uh, you know source to recognize the audio so it's uh, it's inbuilt it's default uh, you don't have to do anything you just have to call this method and that then pass the audio 2 in it so the my text will have the uh, uh, my text will have the uh, output from the Google uh, that is the text uh, whatever you spoke that will be converted into text and it will be uh, stored in the my text variable and then I'm um, changing changing the case and then I'm printing it again here this is the part where I call hey Jesse so when it when I call hey Jesse only it will come in this part inside this if loop and then again it will tell tell me I'll again use the speak text method which converts text to speech when she says tell me again one more recognizer variable I have uh, in I mean uh, used uh, I have adjusted the noise and then I'm I have printed listening then again one more variable for audio and with a different recognizer I'm listening again to the same source again with the phrase limit 4 then whatever I speak like hey Jesse it will she'll tell tell me then whatever I speak it will be uh, stored in this audio 3 variable then again I have initialized again one more in my new text and then whatever I speak will be again recognized by Google and then it will be stored in the my new text variable and then so final step is sending this my new text to the solution finder so what does solution finder do is it finds a solution for the whatever there in the text uh, like if I said search for YouTube then uh, the incoming text here will have search for YouTube and accordingly it will come to here and then okay it see search for is there then it will do whatever things it wanted to do and then finally it will speak up if it can uh, if it contains music it will come here and it will use the song operation instance and it plays the song why I have used the class concept for this uh, song operation is that you need to keep track of what object you have played a song with to stop it 
so that's why you have to use uh, the class uh, oops concept here so in the try all this is happening if something goes wrong uh, I have uh, written accept block which will again pass this some of the errors and then again the while loop will trigger then again it will start listening so this will go on so this is the basic thing which I have done as of now uh, I'm working on it to make it better hey Jesse tell me give a message to our viewers please subscribe to our channel like this video for me see you again with lots of fun Thank you for watching. I'm working on this software to make it better. I will discuss the same with you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.